New South Wales, or NSW, is the oldest state in Australia and one of its most diverse. Sydney shines as the state capital, with famous tourist attractions like the Sydney Opera House and the Sydney Harbour Bridge, as well as top-notch restaurants, galleries and museums. Venture beyond this beautiful harbour city and you'll find a state full of surprises, with six of Australia's World Heritage Areas. Topographically, New South Wales reflects the diverse landscapes of the country as a whole. The Great Dividing Range cuts through the centre of the state, carving it into an eastern coastal strip rimmed by dazzling beaches while the stark desert beauty of the outback sprawls to the west. Exploring New South Wales is easy and you'll find plenty of rewarding things to do. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 things to see and do in New South Wales. Now, before we begin, you can help support our channel by becoming a member of this channel. Look below and press that join button down there. This will help us to bring you more awesome travel videos, so please join. At 10, the Snowy Mountains. Forming part of the Great Dividing Range, the Snowy Mountains are home to the continent's highest mountains, including 2,228 metre Mount Kosklusko, Australia's highest peak. One of the top attractions in the Snowy Mountains is Kosklusko National Park. This UNESCO Biosphere Reserve is a popular recreational area year-round. Snowy winters lure skiers, and in the summer, the easily accessible alpine terrain of snow gum forests and glacial lakes attracts hordes of bushwalkers, climbers, anglers, horseback riders, mountain bikers, and water sports enthusiasts. Wondering where to stay in the Snowy Mountains? Famous for its excellent trout fishing, Jindabyne is a great base for alpine adventures. The Snowy Mountains are also home to some of Australia's best ski resorts. Perisher Blue Ski Resort incorporates the popular Perisher Valley, Smiggin Holes, Guthega and Mount Blue Cow. Threadbow Village at the foot of the Krakenback Range boasts a year-round chairlift. Near the summit of Mount Kosglusko, Charlotte Pass is a great base for ski tours to the highest peaks in the Australian Alps. With all these snow-capped peaks, it's not surprising the Snowy Mountains are one of the most popular places to visit in the New South Wales in winter. Next up at number 9, Port Stephens. About an hour's drive north of Newcastle, Port Stephens is a large and beautiful blue water bay enclosed by two volcanic headlands. Natural bushland fringes many of the 26 white sand beaches here and whales and dolphins are often spotted in the bay. Despite the many vacationers who come here in the summer, you can still find a quiet stretch of beach. This is also one of the top fishing destinations in Australia, especially for big game fishing. Other popular water sports include swimming, surfing, kayaking and boating. To see panoramic views of the Port Stephens coastline, take the Tomaree Head Summit Walk. Another popular activity here is quad biking or sledding on the Southern Hemisphere's largest sand dunes. The main holiday resorts are Nelson Bay and Shoal Bay, but you can also stay at Soldiers Point, Fingal Bay and Lemon Tree Passage. Nearby, Myall Lakes National Park encompasses one of the state's largest lake systems and is another great destination for fishing, swimming and kayaking. Next up at number 8, Norfolk Island. Once a brutal convict colony, Norfolk Island is now a charming holiday resort with World Heritage listed historic sites. Although the island is an external territory, it remains part of the Commonwealth of Australia and is home to the Pitcairn Island descendants of the HMS Bounty Mutineers. Today, you can tour ruins of the old settlements and learn about the island's Polynesian heritage and colonial past at its excellent museums. A third of this emerald island consists of national parks and reserves, with scenic hiking and biking trails, excellent birding and sweeping green landscapes dotted with native Norfolk Island pines. Water sports are a highlight. Diving, swimming and snorkeling are all popular things to do on Norfolk Island and beach lovers will find a few secluded coves carved into the rugged and rocky coast. Coral reefs lie offshore and the fishing is superb in these remote waters. Next up at 7, Coffs Harbour. Blessed with beautiful beaches and a mild subtropical climate, Coffs Harbour is a favourite holiday destination for families. The town is famous for its Big Banana, an homage to the local banana growing industry, with interesting displays, sweet banana-inspired treats and kid-friendly attractions. 
favourite Coffs Harbour activities revolve mostly around the water. Along the coast, you can bask on uncrowded beaches, fish, surf, dive, kayak and visit the Muttonbird Island Nature Reserve. About 50 kilometres west of Coffs Harbour, nature lovers can explore the rainforest and waterfalls of Dorigo National Park, a World Heritage Area. To the north lies a string of pretty beaches, Emerald Beach is a favourite, and the town of Grafton. Famous for its jacaranda trees, Grafton has six large national parks within easy reach, including the World Heritage Areas of Gibraltar Range National Park, Glen Innes, and Washpool National Park. And now at six, the Hunter Valley. The picturesque Hunter Valley, about a two-hour drive north of Sydney, is one of Australia's most famous grape-growing regions. It's also a popular weekend escape from Sydney, especially for foodies who come here for the delicious farm-fresh produce, cooking schools and gourmet restaurants with chef-tasting menus. Highlights of the Hunter Valley region include the beautiful Hunter Valley Gardens, several excellent art galleries and vast stretches of unspoiled bushland. At World Heritage listed Barrington Tops National Park, you can hike through ancient rainforest and see impressive waterfalls and a diversity of wildlife. Also in the region, Wallemi National Park is one of the largest national parks in New South Wales. It's home to the famous Wallemi Pine and offers excellent bushwalking, rock climbing and canoeing. Newcastle is one of the largest towns in the region and it's a great place to visit if you want an urban buzz after your country getaway. It's one of the biggest New South Wales cities after Sydney, with museums, galleries, excellent cafes and restaurants, and a lively entertainment scene. Save time to stroll along the Bathers Way Coastal Walk while you're here. It's one of Newcastle's most popular attractions. At five, the South Coast's beaches. If you love beaches, and who doesn't, bucolic landscapes and charming small towns, you'll love the south coast of New South Wales. Stretching from the southern fringe of Sydney to the Victorian border, this region is home to some of the state's most beautiful white sand beaches set against the dark summits of the Great Dividing Range. Rolling green hills, lakes, inlets and forests fringe the coast and the climate is mild throughout the year. Strung along the coast are a series of small holiday resorts. Many offer fantastic opportunities for water sports from their beaches, including swimming, fishing, snorkeling and surfing. Kayama is home to the world's largest blowhole and Jervis Bay is a standout with its radiant powder soft sands. Nearby, the dazzling Hyams Beach, reputedly the world's whitest sand, is one of Australia's best beaches. Batemans Bay is also home to alluring shores, as well as the Batemans Bay snorkelling trail. If you're looking for some of the most beautiful hidden places in New South Wales, you'll find them along the south coast. Merimbula and its sister village Pambula on the Sapphire Coast are hidden gems, with beautiful beaches, crystal clear lakes and fantastic opportunities for water sports. One of the most southerly places on the coast is the old fishing village of Eden, once a prosperous whaling station. North and south of town lies the Ben Boyd National Park, with magnificent views of reddish sandstone cliffs from Boyd's Tower, a former lighthouse. At 4, Byron Bay. On the north coast, Byron Bay is a hotspot for surfers and new age nature buffs. A wide stretch of golden beach fronts the ocean here and a lovely hike along the Cape Byron track leads to the most easterly point on the Australian continent and its famous lighthouse. Dolphins and whales frolic in the waters and water sports abound. In the hinterland, you can explore World Heritage listed Wollumbin National Park, formerly Mount Waning National Park with tranquil rainforests and waterfalls. Byron is also known for its colourful markets, as well as its health and yoga retreats, spa resorts and luxury boutique hotels. Lately, celebrity spotting has become a favourite pastime. Chris Hemsworth is a famous resident and several other high-profile Hollywood stars have spent time here between movie shoots. To soak up the soul of old Byron Bay, venture about an hour inland to the tiny town of Nimbin, a hippie hub and hotbed for counterculture and alternative lifestyles. And now at three, Lord Howe Island. World Heritage listed Lord Howe Island is a haven for serenity seekers and nature lovers. 
Surrounded by the world's most southerly coral reef, this spectacular island, about 660 kilometres off the New South Wales north coast, only allows a maximum of 400 guests at a time. Lord Howe encompasses a number of islets, which are part of a former volcano. Dramatic cliffs rise along the rugged coast, and other island highlights include white sand beaches, pristine native forests of pandanus and kentia palms, and spectacular views from atop 875 meter high Mount Gower. Almost two thirds of Lord Howe is protected, and the island is home to a diversity of flora and fauna. Birding is excellent, with more than 130 permanent and migratory species. Offshore, the Lord Howe Island Marine Park protects coral reefs and offers superb diving and snorkeling. Other popular things to do on Lord Howe Island include fishing, surfing, kayaking and hiking along the many walking trails. Bikes are the best way to explore the island, they are also the island's main mode of transport. Looking to disconnect from the stress of daily life? You're in luck. You won't find any cell phone reception here, which helps to preserve the peaceful ambience. Lord Howe Island lies less than a two-hour flight away from Sydney or Brisbane, and although it's not technically a tropical island, it still ranks as one of the most beautiful islands in the South Pacific. Next up at two, the Blue Mountains. The Blue Mountains are one of the most scenic places to visit in New South Wales. For more than a hundred years, this region has been a favourite getaway for nature lovers. About 65 kilometres west of the city, the mountains rise steeply out of the coastal plain, combining magnificent gorges, waterfalls, rock formations and sacred Aboriginal sites with excellent tourist facilities. Named for the blue haze created by the many eucalyptus trees, the region forms one of the state's magnificent World Heritage Sites. Popular things to do in the Blue Mountains include hiking, rock climbing, abseiling, mountain biking and photographing the spectacular beauty. Save time to see all the top attractions. Highlights include Wentworth Falls, the towering sandstone rock formations called the Three Sisters and the Blue Mountains Botanic Garden Mount Tomar. At Jenilin Caves, the world's oldest known open cave system, you can view glittering stalactites and stalagmites. The Blue Mountains also host some of Australia's best hiking trails. Wondering about the best way to see some of the top natural attractions with limited time? Sign up for the adventures offered by Scenic World. These include a skyway, cableway, an elevated walkway and one of the world's steepest railways. Better still, book a combination of these adventures to see the park from different perspectives. Blue Mountains National Park is one of the top places to visit near Sydney by car, but you can also catch a train or join a guided day trip tour. And finally, at number one, it's Sydney. Sydney, the capital of NSW, is one of the world's most alluring cities. Graced by the iconic Sydney Opera House and Harbour Bridge, the sparkling blue harbour is the city's crown jewel. Hop aboard a ferry or harbour cruise to really appreciate these top Sydney attractions and the city's stunning waterfront location. In addition to world-class restaurants, festivals, galleries and museums, you'll find plenty of things to do in Sydney. Stroll along the cobblestone streets of the historic Rocks area, wander through the Royal Botanic Gardens or climb the Sydney Harbour Bridge. You can also explore the shops, restaurants and tourist sites at Darling Harbour, one of the top New South Wales attractions for families. Sydney is known for its excellent beaches. You can bask on famous Bondi Beach, learn to surf at Manly or paddle the calm waters at Balmoral. You'll also find plenty of attractions near Sydney. Stretching northwest from the city, the picturesque Hawkesbury River and surrounding national parks are great day trip destinations with excellent opportunities for bushwalking, birding and boating. And there you have the top 10 things to see and do in New South Wales. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your Aussie loving friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. Cobber, see you next time.